Alright, what is going on? It's your boy Mantis and we have some pretty exciting news for today's video. So, I was scrolling Twitter the other day and I saw this article. It was posted by Deepa. He's one of the Critical Ops France head moderators. Um, I know a lot of people have posted it since then, but I'm just trying to give him credit because I saw it from him first initially. Um, but the article is actually from the Critical Force website. It'll be linked in the description if you want to read it as well. But the article talks about how Critical Force has a new CEO now. I gave the article a read and not only does it talk about how they have a new CEO, it kind of just talks about how the new one stepped in and how the previous one will be focusing more on his role as chairman of the board at Critical Force. Um, there will be a lot more information about this if you want to read it for yourself, but I want to get more into the juicy stuff here because they talked about some pretty interesting stuff about what's being planned for 2023. So the new CEO gave a statement on the article and this is where things get interesting. So while he mentions the company's work on their flagship title Critical Ops, he also states, We have a new game in pre-production as well as several new prototypes that are being explored internally. We hope to reveal more about these initiatives later this year. So essentially, almost out of the blue, our new CEO at Critical Force has basically given us a sneak peek of what's potentially coming in the future. Now, I want to know all of your predictions about what this new game will be that Critical Force is making. Do you think it's just going to be like Critical Ops 2? Like, you know, basically just Critical Ops, but maybe they improve a couple things or change a couple features? Do you think it will follow a completely different genre? Personally, I would love to see Critical Force try and make a game that is either in the Battle Royale category or in the Hero Shooter category similar to Overwatch or Valorant. Either way, we'll hopefully have more news about this by the end of the year, but I think the important part is that Critical Ops clearly isn't done with anytime soon because the game has still been pushing incredible updates, we've been having these operations and you know a lot of new skins and cases and also new esports events and I'm sure they're going to keep continuing to do that. I already know they're going to keep doing it in 2023 and probably they'll continue to do it for many more years. I don't think Critical Ops is over with anytime soon. Um, I think they're just working on a new game to maybe try and bring in a bigger audience. If you made it this far, then please leave a like and sub to the channel. And also, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment right now and let me know in case you haven't already what kind of new game you think Critical Force is developing because I'm interested to see what you all are thinking. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.